Genesis chapter 25, and I read verse 11. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac. We serve a God that blesses. Receive a blessing from God. Receive a blessing that money cannot buy. There are some things you can achieve by your power. There are some things you can achieve by, by your mind. But there's a blessing that money cannot buy. Receive supernatural blessings. Receive blessing by mercy. Receive blessing by grace. Receive a blessing by divine favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you walk in the order and spirit of Abraham and of Isaac, you shall be blessed by God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is not interested in your poverty. God is not interested in you celebrating poverty as a Christian. God is interested in your prosperity. And your prosperity is going to be organized and orchestrated from heaven as you serve God. By the grace of God, I'm a testimony for everything I've achieved for the past 15 years. It has been arranged by God. We are a struggle. I don't get anything. But by divine connection, by divine contact, people will call me, we, we, we call me and say, come and do this job, come and do this contract. And it's clear to me that this is a blessing from God. For somebody like me that has been reaching off as a failure, and somebody will not make it. The blessing that will terminate stagnancy from your life, receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. The blessing that will change your family history. The blessing that will give you a new testimony. The blessing from heaven. Not by hard work, but by grace, by mercy. You are a candidate of divine blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are a candidate of divine favor, of supernatural blessings. And God blesses in abundance. God is not stingy with his blessing. God shall face you and bless you. God shall locate you and bless you. God will identify you and bless you. This year you shall be blessed by God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.